They let OJ go, so he must be innocent. What do you mean? Yeah, definitely. OJ didn't do it. <laughs> I told that. I told you that. Day one. One person can't kill two people yeah. outside with a knife, and you're not a trained killer. I'm with you anyways, OJ. <laughs> There's a conspiracy that they say that drug dealers killed. Yeah, I know. But you know they supposedly took the tongues of the victims and pulled it out through yeah. their chin, which a is Colombian necktie. Yeah, that's what they that's what they that's what they try to claim. Hey. I don't know how you think they we were get OJ on this show. Possible. We gotta we reach out to OJ, hey, man. Talk to Uncle, man. Hey, we gotta hey, get listen, OJ. OJ, baby. OJ. <laughs> listen, I'm talking to you right now, OJ. Come on, come on, come do the show. Come do the show. That's fucked up. Yeah. We already know what they've done to your life. Yeah, <laughs> we got your the back. Incident was fucked up, and we are fucking with you. I also have all the footage on VHS that my father recorded of your you, entire trial. If you want any, you know what's so funny? If you're missing any gaps? My grandmother. I got you. <laughs> my grandmother was so involved with that. With that. My dad day. didn't miss a my second. My grandmother didn't miss Not one a fucking second. Recording. I everything. remember where I was when OJ. I was on. I was at recess. In middle school, mm -hmm. and my middle school in a town of 395 people announced the shit. Announced that OJ. Announced that OJ to a middle school. OJ got free. That OJ was not guilty. And I was yes. out there like, hell, because my dad was an OJ fan. He was like a fan of OJ, so he was in the house like, you know. So, so oh, wait, wait, wait. So, in your opinion, OJ didn't do it then, Josh. He's an innocent man. He is an innocent man, but I don't really have an opinion past that. Oh, oh wait, 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 wait. Either, did wait. you just clean it up? Either that you have disgusting. an opinion or you I don't. I have an opinion. <laughs> One person can't kill two people outside with a knife. Period. End of discussion. Unless you're a goddamn ninja. So unless OJ is a ninja, it didn't well, happen. He, he ran for two thousand yards. All, I also, yeah, I also. He did young run for those when he was twenty five. I also don't think that you can't kill two people with a knife outside. A you, what does I'm, outside have to do? Can you do it inside? I'm saying you have to but be no a professional. No scratches? A professional killer. You, they said this, the person, if you remember, I can't remember the other victim beside his ex-wife. They had, they had defensive wounds on their feet and hands. Nobody heard anything. So when, when you say nobody heard anything, I'm thinking that damn near you got to be a ninja to get this done, and you got to do it quickly. OJ didn't do that. He was 50-something years old, bad knees. One person ain't killing two people outside and leave with not one single scratch on their body. It's ridiculous. So if the gloves doesn't fit, you must you acquit. You must acquit. Everybody knew. Now, now, this is the thing. Now, if you came to me with a different scenario... Did you see that? He knew. Did he know what something was going to happen? Was he there? You might be able to sell me on some of that other stuff, but as far as him committing the crime by himself is ridiculous. You didn't see the TV series? I loved it. It was great, wasn't it? I loved it. But that pointed at he was pretty guilty, and the only reason he got off That's was because that only glove reason. shrunk. Let, let me no, tell you but something. Have you seen the documentary? That, listen, listen, they can't put the show on TV unless they're trying to say he's guilty. <laughs> if they try to say he's innocent, they could, that whole network is going to be out of business. But, uh, that, why that, would you write a book you know why I would that write, says, this, this now, is good. how I would have did it? Now, now, this is why he wrote the book. And this is what people don't understand. So, therefore, the Furman family... Can't, is it Furman? Which one? Goldman, Goldman. The, Go the Goldman family Ron cannot... Ron Goldman. A Jewish family. Uh, they... <laughs> They can't, they can't get to his retirement at all. They can't touch it. There's nothing they can do. His retirement is protected. But everything else is up for grabs. So, therefore, if he, he put out some book and some whatever to, to try to make some money because he can't make money. He go get a job at a liquor store. They need their peace. Period. End of discussion. That's what it is. So, at some point, you'd be like, damn, shit, can I live? I want to go to the strip club and spend a little few dollars here and there. But he can't do that. He, <laughs> he, he, has, he, has, a, he has a fixed, he's a fixed income guy. Wow. What a rough time he's had, OJ. It's about time you start having sympathy for this man. Would you take his life? Like, you become a big star, a millionaire, but for half of it, people think you're a killer? Yeah. People think Josh is a, a killer currently. <laughs>
<laughs> they think he's a killer that first, currently. That first 50 years was amazing. It wasn't 50. He was like 40. I don't know. When he retired. Either way, you know what kind of life OJ was living? Went to USC. The, the life. Fucking played in New York. Since we're talking about OJ, what do you think about uh, I'm not black, I'm OJ? We, where you stand in defense of that comment? He was dating way too many white girls at the time. He Listen, it let it go to his but head. See, this is the whole the whole <laughs> thing about sometimes, especially when black guys or or minorities go to prominent schools. Unfortunately, the people that look like them don't dwell in those particular schools at all. So therefore, when in Rome, <laughs> when in Rome, and then for whatever reason, he became he had an affinity for the particular person. Or those kinds of people. So, and that's what it is. He was enlightened in college. 